The holiday buying season kicks off with a rush of early morning shoppers. <laughs> That's crazy. Not knowing what to buy is no longer embarrassing. Gift cards are okay, now considered cool. And is that sale price really a good deal? We'll help you crunch the numbers. Good evening. I'm Lois Hart. And I'm Dave Walker. KCRA 3 reports at 6.30 starts now. Live from Northern California's news leader, you're watching KCRA TV, where the news comes first at home of Live Copter 3. This is KCRA 3 reports at 6.30. We are coming to you live tonight from the KCRA 3 experience at the Arden Fair Mall. The holiday shopping season is in overdrive, and to mark the occasion, we thought we'd take to the mall ourselves. And as you can see from the uh, crowd behind us, see them all waving, see? And there's one phenomenon, I don't know if you can see, people have cell phones, and they call up their friends and their family and say, hey, I'm on TV. <laughs> That's the way it works. And they're all out here still shopping tonight. KCRA 3's uh, Mike DeSalle takes a look at a uh, very busy shopping day. Oh, you want to see what's in the car? <laughs> this is just one example of how jam-packed this shopping day has been. <laughs> Take a look at our bags in the bag. It's not going to fit. <laughs> After four hours of shopping, Elizabeth Gulbrunson's Chevy Suburban was already overstuffed with packages. Minutes later, Monique Wasso bought so much stuff, she needed her relatives to help cart it all out of the mall. And how much do you think you spent so far? Um... Well, I dropped six fifty at the Walmart. My husband's going to kill me. And then there was the other, oh, probably about $2,000. <laughs> Today, all of the area shopping malls and stores were packed. Pretty big crowd right here right now. Of course, it comes as no surprise that the day after Thanksgiving is busy out here. But what may be a big surprise is that new statistics show that men are apparently outspending women for the holidays. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a good surprise. New retail numbers show so far men are spending $789 on the holidays this year versus just $622 for women. I'm surprised this soon. Why? Christmas Eve. And don't they usually wait till Christmas Eve? <laughs> the big question is, do men really know what women want? What do you think she wants for Christmas? She's not really, she doesn't really want a lot of things. Is that true? Do you not want anything for Christmas? No, that's not true. Okay, men, listen up. You don't have to give women the shirt off your back. Here's what women told KCRA 3 would be a can't-miss gift. More diamonds. 15-year-old Ryan Achterberg got the message. He went straight to the jewelry store to buy for his girlfriend of six months. And newlywed Daniel Searcy, he even knew the reason why to buy diamonds. I feel like she deserves it this year. Bottom line? Diamonds are a woman's best friend. In Sacramento, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 reports. That's always been true. Of course, the day after Thanksgiving would not be complete without the early morning rush to buy gifts before the sun comes up. This was the scene at 6 a.m. at Walmart in Sacramento's Natomas area. Hundreds of shoppers racing in to get the early morning special. The line to get in wound its way through the shopping center. Some people camped out all night just to be the first ones inside. And you may not have to spend a lot of time laboring over what to get people. In fact, an old fallback is now quickly becoming very popular once again. KCRA 3's Tom DeHane is live with more on that story, Tom. But this is really a surprise because what we found out is for the first time ever in the United States that gift cards and gift certificates have become the number one preferred gift in all of America. That's according to a brand new national study is the 19th Annual Retail Consumer Survey. What used to be considered kind of a lame idea because you couldn't think of what to buy has now become a cool gift. Arton Fair and most other malls sell gift certificates or cards that can be used at any of the mall stores. That means lots of interesting it? options. I love getting gift cards myself because I can pick out anything I want for myself and I don't have to worry about exchanging it or um, getting the wrong thing. I prefer to get gifts, but my daughter prefers to get gift cards. By the numbers, 64% of consumers will buy gift cards this Christmas. $42 is the average gift card value and $223. That's the average amount that people will spend on certificates or cards. 
Shoppers say they eliminate all the fuss over finding or guessing the right size or color. And what do people get certificates for? Well, 49% buy them for certain stores or products. 34% for restaurants. And 27% buy cards for specific services or activities, such as car washes, bowling, or movies. There's one at $100, and they can use this at any of our stores or restaurants. Stores love them because they're quick and easy. Just ring them up. They lure shoppers back into the stores after the holidays during the slow retail months. And most of all, because about one half of the gift card users end up spending more than the face value of the card. And there's another reason why these cards and certificates are so popular. That's because the receivers realize how much value there is. That Christmas dollar that you purchased before for the gift, after Christmas, all of a sudden might be worth $1.50 or 2 bucks because of all the, the post-Christmas sales. So they become, they're becoming really popular because the buying power is big and the sales are up. David Lewis. All right, Tom, thank you. And the malls are still open late tonight till around uh, 10 o'clock at least. So there's still, uh, plenty of time to come on down and shop. And Dan Shively is above it all. I think he's above us right now in I live. I certainly am. I tried, to get a shot of, yeah, I tried to get a shot of you down through the skylight, but couldn't do it. Hey, we're looking pretty good right below us at Arden Fair. Uh, earlier today, a complete zoo. I think a lot of people have taken a little time off maybe to eat dinner because right now uh, the shopping centers I've checked out so far, including Arden Fair, are in pretty good shape. There's no problem below me on Arden Way, and once you get into the mall, uh, it's still a bit crowded in the front side, but if you go to the side or the back, you'll have an easy time finding a parking place. There are uh, people uh, directing traffic down there, so uh, it's in pretty good shape. Look at all that parking over there behind Sears, so not a bad time to shop right now. Of course, this could be described as the calm after the storm, judging by what it was earlier today. Not bad right now. Back to you. Yeah, we got here earlier today, Dan, and uh, we took your advice, as a matter of fact, went to that parking garage, Caddy Corner from Nordstrom. Very good tip. Thanks so much. <laughs> You're welcome. One of the biggest questions uh, facing some of the uh, shoppers is when to buy. Experts say you'll find some very good deals over the weekend, like door busters designed to bring shoppers in early. However, retailers are also in it for the long haul and will try to spread out those sales. Lots of sales this year. They've already given us great sales today, and I'm told that they'll continue through the holidays. So that's a really good sign. The National Retail Association expects sales this holiday season to top $200 billion, $100 billion of that going to Lewis. And you know, with all that shopping, Dave, a lot of hustle and bustle, there's a lot of stress involved. And joining us now is Rose Zahn from Healthy Habits, and she has some tips for relaxing, basically. So the first thing is you're waiting in line. How do you keep from going crazy? First of all, take a deep breath, because getting stressed is not going to make it happen any faster. Good point. And I think changing our attitude is really important, realizing that there's not something wrong just because there's lines of people. In fact, it's a really wonderful thing. So sort of being in the moment and appreciating the, the joy of the season, which is what it's all about. That's why we're all here with the hustle and bustle. It's harder to do if you're sitting in traffic, though, Rose. What it's do you do? It's really hard. I'll tell you what I do. I use that time to organize my thoughts do a little mental um, grocery list making or errand list making because it really helps reduce stress if we're better organized. Good point, and good point. Even if you can't put it down on paper to sort of put together your game plan, it, it makes me feel better that I'm using my time well. Of course, uh, the mother of all stressors, no pun intended, is uh, all the relatives oh. that come to town. House full of relatives. I'll tell you, um, time seems to be of a premium in during the holidays and private time and quiet time and I think even just a little bit of quiet time can make a huge difference in how we manage stress getting out the door for a walk is both good for stress and good for our health and uh, even if you just have to take a bubble bath or shut yourself in the bedroom for a little little quiet time a few deep breaths on the bed in the peace of your own room I think all of that really makes a difference a little holiday from the holidays so That's to speak right. all right thanks Rose and we have uh, lots more to come from the KCRA 3 experience. Darden Fair straight ahead in learning matters, how to deal with your daughter's first date and how old is too old for a boyfriend. More playoff football this weekend. Ron Hyde is at the Blitz 3 game of the week. And Mark has a look at some rain heading into Northern California. And Dave and I will show you what we bought for each other.
watching KCRA 3 reports at 6.30, where the news comes first. With Dave Walker, Lois Hyde, Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan, Ron Hyde on sports, and home of live Copter 3, this is KCRA 3 reports. By UC Davis Cancer Center at 802 UC Davis. The holiday shopping season in full swing, and that brings us out to the KCRA 3 experience here at Arden Fair Mall, where we have a nice crowd gathering, as you can see. And uh, if you're out there, you are allowed to wave right now. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> one, one guy kind of eh, a little blurry right there. All right, this is the day that many fathers and mothers simply dread. The day their teenage daughter begins to date. And new research suggests they should be worried, especially if the boy is older than the girl. KCRA 3's Sarah Gardner has more in tonight's Learning Matters. Two years ago, Kate Tyler was a freshman in high school, and a senior asked her for a date. The only thing he was interested in was something intimate. You know, he didn't care about my feelings or who I was or even what my middle name was. He just wanted one thing, and I knew. But the pressure is not just about sex. According to a new survey by Columbia University, when girls dated boys two or more years older, those girls were six times more likely to get drunk, six times more likely to smoke marijuana, four times more likely to smoke cigarettes than girls who dated boys their own age. When younger girls are dating older boys, they're going to be more exposed to those risky behaviors and may not have the coping skills to say no um, at that point in time. Kate has her own thoughts about older guys dating younger girls. But they can push them to whatever they want to do, you know, like sex or whatever they want, drugs, alcohol. Kate has avoided the pressure, partly because she was careful about the older boy she chose to date. He's smart and he's nice and he, I don't know, he's not crazy like some boys, so. <laughs> and partly because her parents insist on getting to know her boyfriend and they set clear ground rules. I have to be home by 12 o'clock, no excuses. Kate's advice for other girls? Just say no, because, I mean, if they're not going to respect you in that manner, maybe it be, maybe it would be smoking or drinking or whatever, then they're not going to respect you farther down the road when they might want something else more intimate. Sarah Gardner, KCRA 3 reports. Well, I don't know about you, Mark, but I can remember facing fathers, you know. Bring my daughter home at midnight, and one time I was late, and the father chased me out to the car. Did he? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing dad. like that ever happened to me, Dave. Long before that. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to yes. have a, a, a good weekend. A little chilly, however, I hear, on uh, Sunday, is it? Uh, Sunday especially. Really uh, you're not going to the Sierra this weekend, are you? Nope. No. No. Uh, the Sierra is going to be really chilly on Sunday. Right now, we just have a lot of clouds in the area with some rain on the way. Temperatures are in the 50s. Currently, 53 degrees in Sacramento, 51 in Stockton, 52 degrees in Modesto, and 40 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. All locations reporting mostly cloudy skies. So with that in mind, we are starting to get some activity on Doppler radar. And as you can see, there's a line of precipitation. Now, before we even zoom in, I want to just point out that a lot of what you're seeing here, sure it's green, but a lot of it is evaporating before it gets to the ground. Let's show you the Sierra, where we have been seeing this activity rather steady over the last couple of hours along Highway 50 and all the way up toward Interstate 80. But again, we're really not getting any ground reports that we're getting any rain or snow yet. But we are going to be seeing that both later on tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. We'll go back out to the wide view. And as you can see, there is more to the north and northern Lake County. And there's more offshore that we'll be getting into as we go through the night tonight. And especially first thing tomorrow morning. There is a, a snow advisory up for the Sierra. And I do expect we're going to be staying with a lot of clouds tonight. Uh, that's how it looks from our Lake Tahoe, uh, or I should say our downtown sky camera during the day today. I have just 57 of those clouds are increasing through the day. And here's how it looks from above. All those clouds starting to really pour into the state now, especially from about Interstate 80 to the north. And here's where we're going to start to see the rain first. And this whole line will slowly settle down to the south as we go through the night. And as you can see, this is a longer line of cloud cover that extends well out in the Pacific. So we'll stay cloudy tonight with rain developing. I'm expecting we'll see the rain around maybe Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto after 10 o'clock tonight. And as I mentioned, we do have a, a, a snow advisory up for the Sierra. We're talking about snow around 45 
100 feet. We're going to see maybe as much as 6 to 10 inches of snow up on the crest of the Sierra. Highs tomorrow in the 30s. I think both late tonight and first thing tomorrow morning, there could be perhaps some snow on the roadways enough to cause chain restrictions. In the foothills, lows in the 40s, highs tomorrow in the 40s. A lot of clouds, some rain first thing in the morning, some slow clearing as we go through the day. Along the coast, highs in the 60s, rain tonight, tapering off most likely by about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look for highs only in the 50s. For the valley, I'm expecting highs only in the 50s tomorrow as well, so a cool day. Morning rain, some clearing in the afternoon. The wind's starting southeast, but going around to the northwest. And around the Sacramento area, we'll get into the 50s tomorrow. But with some rain in the morning, I think the afternoon will be somewhat better. But then Sunday will be breezy and cool. Sure, there's a lot of sun there, but that 55 with a north wind gusting over 20 miles an hour, it might not feel like 55. Note the overnight low, 36, 35 on Monday. Next chance of rain comes in Wednesday, lasting into Thursday. And so low, as I was mentioning, the Sierra. Sunday morning, Monday morning, uh, places like Tahoe and Truckee might be around zero, maybe a little bit below. So if you're going to be up there, just keep in mind, it's going to get cold this weekend in the Sierra. Okay, Mark. Thank it. you. We Down are. to the wire in the uh, high school football playoffs right now. Ron Hyde at the Blitz 3 game of the weekend, Loomis. Ron. Hey, everybody. We have 12.